what's been going on? I only like two eggs. We've been eating snacks for the past 30 minutes. That's what's been going on. Yep. Because our friend Walinda. Walinda. Who? She said thank you to Cy and Stone for their service and just thank you for the podcast. She sometimes rewatches it and she sent us all sorts of goodies. Yep. Mm-hmm. And yep. I needed a snack. Yep. Yep. We've been gnawing on them too. She said barbecue barbe- chips were good. Barbecue chips, they granola. Were. That granola was yeah. She sent a can of honey roasted peanuts, but I done dope popped it. Oh. Hey. <laughs> oh, he beat me to the peanut boys, honey. Uh, honey peanuts. Hey, well, Linda does have a question. What's that? She hasn't fished in a long time. Oh. Huh. Any recommendations for a good fishing pole for a lady? Be any since you work in a yeah, I don't, I don't know what her skill level is, but there's. What would you recommend, JD? Everything made these days pretty good. Yeah. I mean, it's way better than it used to be. I'll oh, put yeah. it that way. Yeah. There's not really much trash made anymore. So, I don't Zebco or like Godwin said, B and M, Abu. I mean, all those guys make make good stuff that you can get in a combo. I'm just trying to think of a combo. Good old just, combo, Zebco. Don't do like side. Make your own. They Good old combo. Up on that. Oh. Hey, they done got some some 6.5 to 1 closed face reel now. Boy, that's a good one. Oh, it's fancy. Yeah. It's yeah. $100 proficiency or something like that. Oh, that's an old one. They got 8 to 1s now. They got 8 to 1s now? In a closed face? That was from Belinda. Oh, oh closed face. Yeah, like, oh, in, a Ze- like, like in a Zepco style? Oh, like the button push. Button push. Yeah. Yeah. It's fancy. I went and played with it in the Look, parking lot. I'm like just eating these things. Like a scripture like going there. out of style. Hold on. Belinda got a scripture? Yeah. Will, will Linda. Psalms 3321, for our heart is glad in him because we trust in his, his holy, holy name. name. Thank you. See, that's why I told you uh, on the last that episode. like a song. Our fans are the best, and I ain't heard it. And it, the snacks are great, and all that kind of stuff is great. But the, getting fat around here. But the encouragement, the nice words, like I mean, that that that's pretty awesome. They're 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 second to none. Godwin, what have you been doing this morning? You you eating like you ain't ate in three days? I went fishing. Oh, there it is. I went to Cross Lake. Cross Lake. Yep. It right, was tell me. What'd you do? That's a fitting place to oh, fish right before Easter. Twenty five crappie. Big ones? Yeah, good ones. Big one. Did you clean them? Never been there. Yeah, where are they? Oh, well, Mr. John's got them. Boy, that was a, he was a card. Mr. John Goblin? No. Oh. He was a card or you were a card? Mm-hmm. He was. I was about to go out there and 73 check. years old. I thought I was going to have to call my daughter teach him how to fish. He fishes every day. He just, I was on him, boy. He was on me, too, though. What was he on you about? Telling you slow down? He said, "Boy, if you get if you put me on some fish, he he wouldn't set the hook." And uh, well, he really was. Fish would get off. He said, "You give me any of these dull hooks?" Oh, he was on me, so I got on him. Well, there you go. Give it back. I do it all the time. We had a that's awesome, part of fishing. Gotta be able to dish it out. It was an awesome morning. I wish it wasn't so far over. Yes, that's a ride. Mm-hmm. How far is that? Probably Over about three points. Probably an hour from yeah, Goblin. Hour Solid hour from Goblin. It's a lot of gas. <laughs> a lot of gas. And mm-hmm. it's high. Yeah. It is. But nobody talks about chimneys. They're through the roof. Chimneys? <laughs> yeah, chimneys. Through the roof. <laughs> oh, good gracious. <Christ. laughs> <laughs> nobody right. talks about Next time you go over and go to Cross Lake. That's where he went. That's what That's he just said. No, oh, Cato. Excuse me. Cato. Oh. Try Cato. A fan sent that one in to me, by the way. Yeah. There you go. Try Cato Lake next time. They're yeah. even bigger. Cato Lake's a thicket. Oh, it's this a thing thing. ain't got nothing in it. You're right. talking about a long line and dream. What's that? Huh. Cross? Yeah. Yeah. But just wait. Get, get that water about five, ten more degrees warmer. Except it's full of two-pound crappie. And yeah. good luck. Oh, it's yeah. got big. Cato Lake's got big crappie. Big trees, big stumps. Yep, big old cypress. And lots of lower units. I'm full now. <laughs> yeah. All right, boys, he's eight, seven. You good? Eight. He's snacked he's out. Eight eggs, eggs, a bag a, of hot barbecue. A whole, whole bag of bar- I am eyeing them m ms over there, though. We can get them in the break. Here you go. Or, Catch, big guy. Oh. Or a mature athlete. That lucky All stuff. Right, Catch him. Mm-hmm. Oh, boy. Oh, this is peanut. Yeah, why are you smashing them? Yeah, I didn't smash them. 
Like, it just sounded like it, but when I hit the bag, it was lightly. <laughs> it was I lovingly touched. I don't know what just happened. What I don't either. Doing? Goblin, y'all got power again? We do. Thank goodness. How long did you lose it? Two days. Ooh. Oh, good gracious. Good. Yeah, it was terrible. That ain't good, boys. Any of your I stuff fall you. out? It was, uh, no. I was making sure there wasn't nothing. I got, a, to cook. I got one of them Generac. Yeah. Generac? Time to eat. Oh, you have a big old Generac? Yeah, it's on wheels. 6,500, baby. I can run them lights. You can run the lights. I can't run the hot water heater. Got to take a cold bath. <laughs> cold bath. Which I do not do. Can you? Yeah, that'll kill him. Yeah. Can you run your? Can you run your air conditioner? No. Oh. My air conditioner and hot water heater is out dryer. Can't run dryer. Oh, it's fine. just lights. Just the. You got the essentials. Light, phone charging. Yeah. TV. Keep your refrigerator running. Internet. Right? That's good. Refrigerator. Well, I, I, you want the refrigerator to keep running. Yeah, freezer. Because when all that goes bad, it's just sad. Oh, yeah. Oh, I got a lot of deer meat in there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and a lot of fish. Yeah. It goes out again, you know where to find me. I'll come help yeah, we'll offload have a, a couple meals. We'll have a big feed. Big feed. Start, fish fry. Start cooking, baby. Oh, yeah. Lord, have mercy. Well, that's good. So you did catch them. It's springtime. That's a good did thing. Did catch them. I got I would, I went across there. I'd never been there before. I said, let me go try this pocket. I went over there, and I was looking at my side scan. I seen little little white squigglies. I said, hmm, this might work. And I put that forward-facing sonar down, and I said, oh, yeah, <laughs> this will do. That'll work. This will do. Mm. And you called 25. 25. Good ones. 25 stitches. Mm. In your bridges. <laughs> Uh, have you been fishing yet, sir? No. No. Still haven't gone. Uh, we tried one time. It was a little too early. We're going to wait a little while. Too early. Mm-hmm. Too early. And old stones. So, so I'm a fair weather fisherman. No. Yeah. Well, yeah. No, yeah. yeah. Same way he hunts, too. So it ain't really. Yeah. I'm with but I mean, he's 74, or about to be 74. Yeah. I'm 32, and I'm the same way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just call hey. me when they keep showing up. Yeah. Look, Willie's out of town. This full moon just happened. Then Biggins ought to be back up on the beds at his house. So if we want to go, if we want to go poach him, yeah, now's, now's, right. the now's, now's the time to poach. Time. He's out of town, boy. I can tell you where they're at. Oh, well, I'm, I got pretty. They don't move far every year. I've, I've caught them all. So <laughs> I've Get caught every one of them and Willie's put them back in the water. fish are all just like, like why? why? I just catch them once a year to check on them, just to make sure they're good. Do a status check. I do a status check, make sure everybody's healthy, and I put them back in the water. A DNA swab. Mm-hmm. What's up, boys? Hey. DNA swab. Keep, That's Bertha. Yeah. Keep the population. He ain't as big this year. Yeah. We should go do that right On now. our way down. Well, we got about 50 more minutes before we can do that. Oh, I didn't before. know he was out of town. Yeah. Yeah, he left yesterday. Well, then I know Where's what he heading? Doing this evening. Huh? Where's he heading? I think he went to Nashville. What's he going to Nashville? He's singing. Hey. What are you doing, Nashville? Yeah, he ain't singing. He got to set some things straight. I don't know. You went to Nashville to sing? Yeah. Right. Yep. Lots to do in Nashville. Yeah, it is. Nashville's got to go to the House of Cards and watch a bunch of musicians while you eat a good, fine meal. House of Cards. I don't think I've ever Why would you go to the House of Cards to eat? Because they're a real good restaurant. Fine steaks. Medium pie. I thought she's going to go play Rook or something. Nah. Nah. Fades. It's a cool go, place. Go got a bunch of different uh, musicians. Magicians. Magicians and musicians. And Wait, it's a magic and, show? Yeah. Oh, I'm in. Yeah. Oh, I'm in yeah. on magic. Hey, I just performed some magic. I yeah, they entertain you while you have a fine steak. Filet mignon. <laughs> like, what's that place called with the blue night and the red night? Oh, I have no idea. You know what I'm talking about? Where you eat? No, I'm still... Medieval times! I'm still laughing at Godwin. What'd he say? He said, I'm a magician. I made them eggs disappear. (laughs) (laughs) They're in my belly. Oh. That's quick magic there. Golly. So you you just see them, and now you don't. I'm looking up the house of cards. That medieval times? Yeah, I've been there. I know Godwin been there. I've been there. Watch the jousting while you eat a turkey leg. Mm -hmm. That's just a good time. I mean, what what? Uh, only difference, I mean, that's true horsepower, but the only difference would be if they put cars in there. Yeah. 
I think know. I would be in. They did Where's up there at? at L.A. Coliseum. Where's this at? Over around Dallas. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. That Medieval Times Cafe or whatever it's called. And you ain't never been there? Is uh, the food any good? Uh, no. Oh, you don't go for the food. You uh, go, you for, go the for the show. The turkey legs just. I hadn't them. been since I was a very young boy. I've been to. There's uh, ten of them. Where's the, what's the name of that town? South of Dallas. Um, Scarborough. Oh, the fair? It's like a town made and maybe too many nights, you know. Mm -hmm. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty, pretty neat. Too many nights, boy. Too Wait. many nights. <laughs> That's why they call it the Dark Ages. That's there it is. Why they call it the Dark Ages. Dinner at the end. You know what one ocean said to the other ocean? I see you. No, uh, nothing. They just wave. <laughs> 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 Nothing, just wave. <laughs> just wave. Oh, well, let's wave on into our first break. We'll be back right after this. <laughs> Martin, you know what the worst part of those storms was the other night? What's like, that? When my wife wanted us to take shelter in a closet, and I had to <laughs> lay on the floor instead of on that beautiful Helix mattress. You didn't drag your mattress in there? I took a couple pillows I have from them, but that's all I could fit in that closet. But boy, would say, I mean... Once you get used to it, you can't go back. No, you can't get off of it. it it's the, the Helix mattress. I mean, Cy si sleeps till 1130 now. A.M. Cy si <laughs> sleep and sleep and sleep and sleep and sleep and sleep and sleep some more. Well, hey, he takes a nap you, and get ready to take a nap. What can I tell you? Just short of being in heaven, ain't it? You're on a cloud. I ain't very far from it. <laughs> How about that? You ain't very far from what? Huh? Heaven? Amen. I'm sleeping on a cloud. See? That's knock, what I'm knock, talking about. Knocking on heaven's door. Hey. There you go. It's like song. they made this mattress just for me. Though. Well, they did because you they stopped. Did. You took the quiz. That's you, right. you, you took a test. You chose all the things about how you sleep. That way the mattress was built for you, not for somebody else, which is, I mean, that that's that's what we're that's after, the game. right? Yep. Like, I mean, My mattress is made for heavyset big boys who like soft mattresses. A custom built mattress. It's there amazing. Comes in a box. How yeah. fit? Yeah, I mean, it's not, mattresses are definitely not one size fits all. Which one, when you took the quiz, what'd you get? M Moonlight. 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 I'm a softie. There soft. you go. He's a, he's a softie. That's it's a softie. It's fantastic. Look, I mean, it really is. It's that simple. If you're looking for a mattress, take the quiz. Order the mattress that's matched up to you, and you're ready to go. Because you, you shouldn't be sleeping on John David's mattress, and you shouldn't be sleeping on mine. Sleep on yours. Stop. Whoever that is, whatever you look like, they are awesome. You don't need to take our word for it. Helix was a number, awarded the number one best overall mattress pick of 2020 by GQ and Wired Magazine. Chiropractors recommend it. Doctors of Sleep Medicine recommend it. It just helps improve, improve sleep. All you have to do is go to helixsleep.com slash duck, take their two-minute sleep quiz, and they'll match you to a customized mattress that will give you the best sleep of your life. They have a 10-year warranty. And you get to try it out for 100 nights absolutely risk-free. They'll even pick it up for you if you don't love it, but you will. Helix even has financing options and flexible payment plans, so a great night's sleep is never very far away. Helix is offering up to $200 off all mattress orders and two free pillows for our listeners at helixsleep.com slash duck. That's helixsleep.com slash duck. How's the family, Martin? The one, you, the one, that's, the one that's brewing. There's an entire one in your wife's seen, belly. Yeah, I seen. I uh, seen. She's been doing a lot of shopping. All of a sudden, she's doing baby shopping. Does yep. your credit card still work? As far as I know, I might want to turn it off. <laughs> no, it's fine. Hey, let her have fun with it. They go. Uh, so Monday, I leave. Gone all week. I got to go over to Real Tree. So she's going to see her family, and they're all going to. Since they, you know, live seven hours away, they're all going to one of them ultrasound places, and they're all going to go as a family, like, to see all the stuff, you know, because they ain't been to none of the appointments, they ain't been around, they just get videos on the phone, so they're going to, they going to all go together, go see it in living Oh, color. one of them high-tech yeah. ultrasound they wanted, things? Yeah, they want well, just like a, color. Well, just like a drive through not at yeah. a doctor's office, yeah. but like where your whole family can go in there. There's call, a like, drive through ultrasound? Yeah. Well, not that. Not, not legitimately drive through That is Leave so. it to Tennessee. How come we didn't <laughs> We got that. one here. Uh, what? We, we got, got one in downtown West Monroe where you, you take the whole family, like... It's drive through Well, it's called like sneak a peek. No, it's not drive through No, this is that. That's even better. See? How come we didn't think of that? 
Yeah. Uh, but it's like. None of us are ultrasound techs. You know how much money they make? Yeah, because well, it's straight, no, no, that's it's straight cash, homie. That's a pretty good deal when you think about it. Yeah. Okay. But it's like the super Some boy, come on, and hey, right, let's, let's check the ultrasound out. Let's mm. check out the new new arrivals that are you know, like it, this being one. cooked at this We moment. could do it. We could <laughs> add dinner. And it'd be like medieval times, but yeah, with an yeah. ultrasound. Yeah, ultrasound. Hey, bring some chicken wings. And they got like teddy bears and stuff that you oh, can yeah. put like the baby's heartbeat in. You can record the baby's heartbeat. Well, and that's like, what I'm talking about. So her her side of the grandparents and all that are going to get to go experience it. So that's going to be, be that's going to be pretty cool. That's yeah. the one where you can like see if they have hair and stuff too, right? No, they're not going full bore because they're still it's like still four D early. That's yeah, we're not doing that. Four D. That's yeah. not three D. No, still, D, yeah, we're staying. We're we're sticking with two D <laughs> since it's yeah. still pretty early. Okay. So, but they haven't seen any of it other than the pictures and videos we show. I so. object. This is in, uh, an invasion of privacy. <laughs> what? <laughs> on the kids or my yeah, woman? On the kids. No, because <laughs> I kids. feel the same way every time we go in there. I was like, oh, <laughs> yeah. Mm. They get that big bottle of blue it's gel it's and just an invasion <laughs> of privacy. Ultrasounds yeah. are yeah. weird. Yeah. When you really think about it. It really is. Yeah, it's it's technology, man. The I mean, wonder the I had wonder one done on me one time. That was weird enough. It. So. It's like forward facing sonar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I ain't seen no fish yet. I know. I'm just glad them suckers don't bite. Oh, I love it. <laughs> forward facing sonar. Yeah. Hey, that thing may be a Garmin. I don't know. Oh, it probably <laughs> is. Maybe Garmin, maybe Lawrence. I don't know who yeah. makes them things. But ultrasound, Humminbird, Humminbird, be any of them. Who knows? But yeah, that's so they're all going to do that next week. So that'd be fun while I'm down in Georgia with our, yeah, our real tree people messing around. And me and God would speak. Yeah, I'm gonna fly in into Columbus. Yeah, Friday. Where y'all going? Gonna drive down to. What's the name of that place? I, I don't know. You the one told me about it. Florida, something North Florida. That's all I can't remember. North that's, Florida. Yeah. That's a whole different side of Florida. Yeah, yeah, it's the north side. Yeah, we in the we in the pine trees, not the palm trees. Yeah, we we in the piney woods. We where them big old giant rattlesnakes live. Ooh. North, <laughs> those north. things that slither on their belly. Oh yeah, they're poisonous. Venomous. Oh, here we go. Godwin does that just because he knows what it does. Have you ever ate rattlesnake? What? Yeah, it's, nah. it's chewy. It ain't no good. You have? Yeah, it ain't no good. I don't like it. Did you expect it to be? It's I got a metallic it. taste to it. I couldn't. T- I couldn't do it. A metallic taste. Yeah. All right. Explain. Well, poison's kind of metallic in place. <laughs> Are you talking about the band Poison and Metallic? <laughs> Did Brett Michaels? I'm just trying to figure out the pun. Oh boy. And now for something totally different. <laughs> but it's actually. But it, <laughs> Just like every rose. I don't know where we're going. But is it, you thought it was actually chewy, uh, Martin? Yeah, it was. It was just kind of tough. tough. wasn't fresh. Well, I mean, Ugh. how how is a snake gonna be tender? He uses every muscle in his body to get around. Like that's that. what I'm talking about. You know, it just wasn't very good. Well, it's a reptile. Yeah, I mean, so is a turtle. Turtle ain't bad. Yeah, I mean, I'm not all. I don't advocate for killing turtles, but if you do and you eat him, I mean. You know, he ain't bad. Well, Man, I've heard stories people that yeah. eat them talk about that, that there's seven different meats in a turtle. In a, what? Oh, yeah, like, yeah, because they got, like, thighs, back straps, yeah. tail. They got yeah. it all, yeah. 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 You I, never had, you lived in Louisiana this long, I ain't never had turtle soup. I've had turtle. I'm just not. Or, like, sauce pecan, turtle sauce pecan. That happened, yeah, I have. I'm just not that, that, that happened into it. one time, okay, I, I go like home pecan. with a buddy of mine growing up. What'd he say? Back I in like high school. Pecan. I like pecan pie. Right. I'll go home with a guy that I'm growing up with, right? Mm-hmm. They had look. turtle soup. Oh. The only thing else is the, uh, you know, when I rinsed in the ladle and, and was going to get some. Did you say a snapper? No, 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 no. They didn't clean the turtle very good. Mm. Okay. Because the old scaly looking skin. On, on his them, leg? Yeah. 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 How you that's leave what, that that's on? That's what I picked up with the ladle, and I just. Well, now, you leave that on. Uh, you eat skin off the chicken, don't you? Uh, no, I ain't no big skin eater. I love chicken skin oh, yeah. and pork skin. Hey, Amen. Both that's of them good. things are fine. Mm-hmm. But I, I'm just not a reptile eater. I think they could look. Not a reptile claws eater. On the, on the. They didn't even cut the claws. You don't like alligator? 
Alligator's nope. the only one where you're like, nope. Okay, this is good, but alligator's got too strong a taste to me. It's chewy. It's, it's chewy. And, chicken. and it's tough. And it's tough. Yeah, it's chewy. <laughs> chewy. Well, you'd be tough too if you've been here for 120 million well, years. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> alligators are old. Big old. Yeah, I've never got that Louisiana part thing. I wonder if do. they eat crocodile. Eat everything. It would just eat reptiles. I, I wonder if they eat crocodile over in over in Africa. Only if you cook it in a crock pot. <laughs> I'd probably make it tender. Why? Well, yeah. Oh no. If it's in a crock pot, it's gonna be tender. Mm. Are crocodiles good eating? Yeah. I just wonder if they do eat them. I would imagine. I know the crocodile eats they get everything. Pretty large. I know that. But here's what I'd say about folks out there in that part of the world: if it don't eat them, there's a pretty fair chance it gets eaten. That's a good. I mean, that's a good decision. Well, that which be. I think is where all the stuff come from down south. I mean, you got to think when Louisiana was getting settled, this was a rough patch of real estate. How did people stop here? And why? Goblin lost power for two days and still had a generator, and he scarred from it. Yeah. This is not where you want to live Couldn't without sleep. electricity. Couldn't sleep. Oh, I, c- I kept waking myself up snoring. Oh, because he ain't got a CPAP. Yeah. I, I couldn't wear my Darth Vader mask. Oh. <laughs> Let me tell you, that's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll run you a race Vader. over that thing. What's that, the Darth Vader mask? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love it when we go to right. Wyoming. That thing puts me to sleep, that little low hum it makes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, me and God was here a room. I'm like, yeah, buddy. All you yeah. hear I don't is. think I could sleep. All you hear is. Face. Luke, use the force. God will tell you right now, you don't think you can, but once you can, you can't sleep without it. Ain't that right? That's interesting. I tell you. I used to dread uh, spending the night with God or oh, Si. I so still ain't on that. You got to hurry up and get to sleep for him or Stone. Oh, I've been running out of sleep. out of the the rooms where they're sleeping. I mean, how you get you know, Phil just said, "Hey, now you go going to sleep on the couch." <laughs> the first time we went to hunt at Wes, they said, "Get in there with Sai. and I was like, "Huh?" <laughs> oh, I mean, I didn't know no better. <laughs> and I go in there in that little bunk room with Sai, and I turn around, and walk back out. I said. Ain't no chance. The the key with Sai, though, is if you can bear through it for about an hour, if he's already asleep, he going to get up and take a leak. So you got like five, ten minutes where he gets up, takes a leak, gets yeah, him some tea, hour. gets him some tea. And then I take me another hour to go back to sleep. Yeah. You got a little window where you can get to sleep and you can rock it. But if you miss that window, buddy, you're out. You you're wake like- up and go make tea? No, he got oh, it in that jug right there. That jug. But I'm just saying like. But and he the, does make him a gallon generally the night before and put it in the refrigerator. That way it's cold when he wakes up. And you, he's prepared, son. Get some M and M's. So you drink tea in the middle of the night? Yeah. Yeah. It's hot. What are you talking you gotta, about? You got to keep hydrated. I huh? just thought it was an all day thing. I didn't know it extended yeah. into the midnight hours. If he's uh, awake, I, he got tea. That's why I, like I drink two like, gallons. They look like Easter egg. Look. Godwin just opened some M and M's to our listeners. Are them the big ones or the small? Ones? Driving down the road, just peanut M and M's. So yes, but it's the big ones, right? Not the flat ones. Here you go. Yeah. Watch this. We're gonna send this break right. Throw one up. I'm gonna catch it with my mouth, and we'll probably I'm break. break your teeth. Yeah. yeah. No, it's gonna, gonna be a direct he shot. He's gonna knock one of them out. Short. It was a short throw. Short. Give me that. Good night, son. I don't want to hurt you. You ain't gonna hurt. Put more air under it. Top. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. Right. Look, there there it it. Got First it. try. All right, let's take a break. break. Hey, you can only find it one place on this earth. Where is it? That's off the coast of New Zealand in the pristine waters. What's it do for you? Hey, look, you know, when I was a young man, I used to play basketball and football and all the sports. Uh-huh. I'd wake up sometimes and have inflammation in my joints, knee problem, shoulder problem. You know, hey, I call them my first responders. That would be, okay, Omega XL. How you feel now? You know, I take a couple of them, boys. The first responders jump in their vehicles, okay, they turn on the red lights and sirens, and they rush to the spot of information. Yeah, baby. Problem solved. Okay. 
That's the end of it. Martin, tell them how they can get this I'll, wonderful product. I'll be happy to. Uh, like I said, as you get older, your body does not produce near enough SPMs, and those are nature's way of keeping joints healthy. And you're just never going to be like you were when you were young, but our friends over at Omega XL can help restore your SPMs and rejuvenate joints and muscles so that you can move like you did when you were young. You found the fountain of youth, my nerd. And it comes in a bottle. And it comes in a bottle. But the good news is, if oh. you order Omega XL right now, you get a second bottle. But and you wait. get it free. Yeah, baby. For free. Two bottles of the fountain of youth, as I like to call it. it. Visit OmegaXL.com slash doc. That's OmegaXL.com slash Doc. Or call 1-800-844-4888. 1-800-844-4888. For not one. But two bottles. And the last one is free. Yeah, boy. They often say the best day of a man's life is the day he buys the boat, and the next best day of his life is the day he sells it. That's because he don't know what he's doing. Yeah. If he sells it. I've had the same boat for 20 years. It's been fantastic. Yeah. How have you done that, Martin? I take care of my stuff. Yeah. Well, he takes care of his stuff. I take care of all my stuff. Take care of Proper stuff. maintenance. Scheduled Boat-tricks. maintenance. Boat that reminds me. And learn how to do it yourself. That helps. Yeah. Tell learn us Learn how to change oil and all that yourself. I got to change oil in my Suzuki. There you go. See? That 28 gauge I bought, the butt, oil in. butt plate on it. Just, just disintegrated. It, yeah, you need one. Yeah, yeah. What's the deal with that business? I don't know. I threw that thing in my shoulder the other day and looked at it and I thought, "What in the world happened yeah. to my darn butt plate?" Yeah, my. I think it's when it gets wet. Mm-hmm. I think that water just breaks it down. Yeah, and try using. The I mean, it. it literally just, you know. Oh, you don't you, use deodorant, do you? You ain't telling me nothing. Yeah, I use deodorant. You I don't use deodorant. I use two two deodorants. You. Use you double down? Yeah. He doubled it. Yeah, because he doesn't shower. Hold on. Well, I do shower. Don't <laughs> <laughs> oh, tell me. Hey. Uh-oh, what you got there, Johnny? Tell the story, Sal. I used a deodorant, okay, and then I used uh, a product called the Bod with deodorant. You mean that? Yeah. He just sprayed Yeah, and look, hey, and I got a story behind all this. You right. gonna, you're going to spray that in your mouth? Oh, no, no, oh. no, no. Well, Linda sent look, that, too. No, no, the women love this. Okay, look, I got this, okay, one night at K's. It was Christmas. It smells so strong. Okay, <laughs> no, no. Dirty Santa. Al and Lisa bought this as a gag joke to get to me. Mm-hmm. Well, hey, I go home, and like I said, I use a spray drill and this, and together, okay, this is like a woman magnet. Woman mm. magnet. Okay, because I've had, when I was out singing, yep. the women would all tell me when they'd come up there to take a picture with me, they would go, oh, good grief, you smell good. You they, smell right now. That is, I, was I regret you. spraying that. Oh, it smells that. good. It's they a, was just wanting your money, Si. No, Very strong. No. <laughs> Colin said they just want. Now, they all know they ain't going to get my money. It's like a combo of cat pee and Old Spice. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is a very strong I like smell. that. Cat pee and Old Spice. You like that? And it mellows, and it mellows out. I sat by a guy at hey, church. Hey, there you go. That. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's what, that's that's not what I'm look for. All y'all think I'm being mean to Si. I'm not saying he smells like I that. Love that it. was just a quote from a guy that I sat next to in a funeral. He said, I'm sorry, brother. I smell like cat pee and Old Spice. And you know what? He was right. Yeah, he was right. <laughs> oh man, he, he take, was he, he was cold wreck. Yeah, he, he, he needed to take a bath. Yeah. Or no, no, he had on his Sunday best. I guess huh. he just there's a lot of cat pee and Old Spice running around this place. So I don't I don't well, really may, know, but he may have had a bunch of cats living with him. But he said that, and I said, you know, <laughs> yeah. you got a point. Yeah, you do. <laughs> I can appreciate honesty. I, I wish you were lying. Ah, that that oh. the, I'm telling you, oh, it is a think. strong oh. smell. <laughs> Mark, that way too close. I sprayed it on side. Oh, oh. a couple of clicks. Stuff. That's good stuff. Man, Godwin's now yeah. smelling it. That's in my nose hairs. Hey. Mm. That's good stuff. Yeah, you ain't got to spray that on like once a week. 
And that is I never strong. give off a bad odor. Trust me. Denatured alcohol, aqua fragrance, yeah. propylene yeah. glycol. You never give off a bad I said, odor? I've never with that. God, when you got a cigarette lighter? No. Uh -uh. Dang, it says flammable. That right there, smoke. that's a uh, cover up. There was something in my water. <laughs> it got in your water? I got a match. Huh? Well, oh, hey. Yeah, no, you're fine, bro. It's, it's, it's you, blow you're, you're winning. It's Hold blow on. I got a match. No, you ain't no Oh, no, we ain't doing that match. No, you ain't mm. We can't put that match out anyway. That's we right. done tried that. Dang. Right. I thought we were about to start doing pyrotechnics here in the duck hall room. <laughs> no. Uh-uh. Uh, um, anyway. Yeah, I don't even. What were we talking about? I don't even remember. Bod fantasy spray. Oh. Uh, this but, is Bod. Got, oh, I didn't even finish that. They gave it to me as a gag gift. I go home and put it on with my regular spray deodorant. Mm-hmm. Hey, my woman loves it. Well, well, hey, Al Cy keeps clean. Uh, gag gifts on Al and Lisa. Here's, here's, the, <laughs> here's what you got to know about Christine. She likes loud things. <laughs> she married to Cy. Yep. She loves Bod. Right, he she tricked her it. with a dragon jacket. Yeah, hey. <laughs> to say she has a flair for the dramatic would be an understatement. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh like, peeling back the layers that is Miss Christine. But that's that's a lot to that I think has to do with that red hair she sports. <laughs> yep. them, them red headed ones is a, is a little different. Irish oh, yeah. got a little Irish. Yeah, they got a little. Got a little what? A little Irish. lippy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got a brown headed one. That's that. <laughs> yeah, I thought I'm gonna put on Paula's gray. What? Realized Paula lippy. God when she was a little lippy. She was a little lippy. Yeah. The funny part about that is I think you're actually going to do it. He's told oh, her that enough. Oh, that, he's told her that enough that if he don't, she's going to be upset. Right. Yeah. Now she tells people I'm going to put it on there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hey, look, here's what my headstone's going to read. She is, but hey, hey I like them a little, little faster. She was a little on the lippy side. I like them a little faster. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mm. Never a dull moment. Or I'm gonna leave. Now. I'm gonna leave little off of Britney's. Uh, yeah. She just straight lip. <laughs> <laughs> She's just sugar and spice, baby. Oh, and everything nice. I tell you what, pregnancy bring out the best of that quality too. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm praying for you, Martin. Oh, oh just, it's been fun. Just man. wait till you get in that delivery room. I want to know what she calls you in there. Better be like honey. Oh no, it's not. Oh, it's gonna be. <laughs> it's mean. They get real mean in there until they did do the thing where they don't feel no more pain. It is, it is scary. I've heard yeah, things from my wife. I didn't even. Back. I had to Google them. <laughs> Said I don't even know yeah. what that means. You had to look them up to see what everybody, whatever, whatever she was saying. Yeah. My wife like started. Sunglasses, like son. She better not be mean to me. Hey, look. Here's here's how. I've been bad nothing it is. but supportive. <laughs> Thank you. It don't matter. She's gonna be mad. Look. Uh, one of our kids, I can't remember which one, they were like, hey, we'll be there in a minute to do the pain, the epidural, I think it's called. And you know, like that plastic on the side of the bed, my wife started clawing at that thing like she was trying to murder it. And she, and she was just scratching at it. And I was like, I got to get out of this room. It was scary. Yeah, that's when you looked down at your phone. Hello? Oh, 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 somebody's oh, here. Hey, be, I got to take this call. Yeah. Yeah, uh, uh, your mom's trying to get up here. Hold on, let me tell her how to make it here. Yeah, yes. don't make jokes either. They don't think they're – none of them think yeah, they're – No, of them, I've, I've, none of them is funny. Yeah, I've realized that in even in this early time. <laughs> humor is a lot of times my way to cope yeah. with uncomfortable news yeah. and things like that. Mm -mm. It has fell on deaf ears a lot of these well, times. <laughs> you, you really find out how funny you are when your wife's pregnant because uh -huh. they don't laugh at nothing. Yeah, they – yeah. Yeah, God bless her. I just told her, I said, look, you got to understand, that's just the way I cope. Like, that's the way I deal and process things through my head is make a joke about it while I while the reality of it sits in. Yeah, no, not okay. Yeah, she's don't gone. go there. Don't go, go there. She's going to pick up a funny. butcher knife and say, this is how I cope. <laughs> <laughs> this is how I relieve stress. <laughs> come here. Yeah. Butcher knife. <laughs> Let me see that. Yeah, come over here, darling. Get closer. Yeah, yeah. you're going to, she's going to throw <laughs> something at you at some point for sure. It'll be like a pillow. Again? <laughs> yeah. Oh. oh, that done started, you said. Oh. Mm. Labor and delivery. Uh, God bless women everywhere, though, because yeah, I, I don't, I would, I mean, I'd just keel over and not make it through it. I told her that, too. I said, I didn't think I could love you, respect you, or any of that any more than I already did until this happened. I said, and I have a whole new admiration for you. Yeah. I said, because, I mean, she was sick for like four weeks straight. Not, I ain't talking about morning. I'm talking about if her eyes were open, she was sick. And there ain't nothing I can do. 
Like, and I'm just nothing she can do. And nothing she can do. And I'm just trying, <laughs> yeah, and she's yeah. getting frustrated, yeah, and I'm getting frustrated, yeah. and I'm like, man, I don't know. Like, you know, what what can we do? What can we do? And now she's off that bag. Now she just eats everything in sight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Well, good and eat. So uh, she's eating for two. She's eating for three. Yeah. For three. Yeah. No, I ain't blaming her. It's just a funny transition. She went from sick 24-7 to hungry 24-7 like that. I was like, holy cow. So, you know, up that pit boss. She's going through or an amazing. Say, push that button. Yeah. yeah. She's oh. going through an amazing process. Oh, it is. It's incredible. No, no. Yeah. It is. It is. Unreal. I, I, I called my mama and told her I saw her. <laughs> for everything I ever put her through. You was I probably said, a pretty I, big baby, too. I said, because you went through all this just to get me here, and then I'm going to turn around and be a horse's butt sometimes growing up. I said, I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. I didn't know. Yeah. <laughs> How was I supposed to know? She said, oh, that's all right, honey. Yeah. She said, I keep them anytime you need me to. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I don't know what it is. Paula, she's like Aston Joanna. What, what's, what's the hold up? What's the hold up? I'm thinking, hey, hey, that's my daughter you're talking <laughs> <laughs> ah there you go boys all right well let's oh, take a break boy. we'll be back right after this all right we're back blindy, look blindy whenever we announce this thing about being pregnant with twins i asked them to send in twin advice I had no idea we had so many fans that had twins. So twins, you, but you've taken your time out of your day to uh, to send it. So if there are more fans, which I have seen that they're expecting twins as well, maybe some of this will work. So Johnny D, what what's what's I, the best? Or is there a most common? Is there a? Uh, I mean, the amount of emails about they are a twin or they have twin it's crazy it's kind of like that car that new car you buy that car you never notice them till you buy one and you see them everywhere <laughs> you ever notice that yeah oh yeah that's twins now yeah they're gonna be everywhere you they're look everywhere i mean we got more twin fans oh, i didn't know they had two <laughs> but k okay so P carrie pasadum keag that was it that's the town name in maine so she is a twin. We're about as far apart as we can get in the continental yeah. US. I hope you're doing good up there in Pasadum. I was just Pasadum keg. Pasadum keg. Pasadum keg. That sounds Maine. like a party I went to. I don't. Oh, boy. Oh. Uh, <laughs> look, so <laughs> she is a twin. She's got a brother. Mm -hmm. um, but so to not get them mixed up, because when they're babies, they look alike. They had, uh, they always wore different colored diapers. Really? So you got to buy two sets of diapers. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. That, like a baby will have, mm. John will have this diaper and David will always have this diaper. I had already yeah. proposed putting like a green dot on one of them's big toe. I want blue. On put, the bottom of their big toe put, at the hospital. Put blue ones on John. Yeah. Put blue ones on John, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what they are yet. It may be Johnette. Well. Panda toenail. <laughs> you missed it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Panda, Her panda. loss. <laughs> hey, Panda toenail. One yeah. of the toenails. There you go. I, I don't like. I don't hate that. I'm gonna have to do something. I'm sure there'll be one that's loud and one that's quiet. <laughs> yeah, and it's I'm, divide and conquer now. Yeah. And it's, then look, it's so like what the drummer named their baby, their twin babies, and a one and a two. <laughs> <laughs> it's every it's every episode he's got one just firing from the hip. <laughs> That boy keeps his whole One, and don't two. It? So then hey, you don't want to hear it if it's like, one, two, three, four. Uh, <laughs> oh, Lord, so, so I'm gonna have to send you this one because Rachel from Oklahoma, she oh, sent an entire book. Oh really? But that is because Rachel from Oklahoma has children a five year old, mm -hmm. a two year old, a fifteen month old, and a three and a half week old. So Rachel knows what she's talking about. Yeah. It ain't none of them twins. Ain't none of them twins, but but that fifteen that fifteen month old Good and that three great. month old ain't real far apart. And a two year old, no. she ain't even got dressed yet. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably what her husband was telling her. <laughs> Keep your old clothes on, woman. <laughs> oh man, four is enough. Oh, okay. <laughs> Rachel, Sorry, God bless we you, because. But hey, most of her your, your life is ready. 
That would be my favorite goblin line for the podcast. <laughs> Holy cow. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh. Rachel, thank you for the email. Keep eating them right. M&M's, Hammer. That's good stuff. Right. And I, I'm going to send this all to Martin because there's, there's a lot of stuff in here. But it's mainly about <coughs> taking care. Your job is to take care of Brittany. Oh, 100%. And ask her what she needs. 100%. Go outside. Is it important when she says? Yeah. Get some sunshine. Give her, you got to commit to like giving her 30 minutes a day to taking care of herself. Take a shower. Like just. Oh, I'm, I'm yeah. game. Yeah. I'm, all, I'm all in. In fact, we discussed last night about after their, once we get through the nighttime where you're up every two hours, we discuss like. Oh, I got I, good advice. Every, well, I know you told me last time and she watched the podcast and that's no oh. good. She already knows the, she knows the trick now. She said she's going she she to slap you next time she saw you. <laughs> but we discussed on, like, Wednesdays. On Wednesday morning, and I talked to my mom about this, too. I'm going to drop them off at mom's on Wednesday morning. Brittany going to have the whole day to do her thing, and then Brittany going to pick them up on Thursday morning. So, like, mom gets one day a week with her grandbabies, and it gives her 24 full unadulterated hours to well, do, to take care of herself, yeah, to do, awesome. yeah. to do whatever. Yeah. And her and mom were both on board with it. That's so, great. you know, that was, but I told her, I said, now, I'm not saying it's got to be Wednesdays, but I said, I'm just saying, I want one day a week that you're willing, you'll say right now, you'll do that. To, to take care of yourself, like just to, yeah. if you want to go shopping, go shopping. You want to get your hair did, get your hair did. Nails, all that kind of stuff to pamper yourself, take care of yourself. I want that for you. And she said, I'll do it. And I said, perfect. That's good. You know, and, and I think that's a good, it's going to be hard. I mean, even the first time is going to be hard. Like, but that way on Wednesday nights, we can go on a date night if we need to. We go to dinner, go Amen. picture show, go, you know. Go Head on down show. the picture show, Mark. Yeah. yeah. Or in, in today's, yeah, in today's, in today's world, we're going to click that button that says rent. <laughs> Amen to that. You, know? you ain't got to go there. Yeah. Or something um, like that. But. The last one from Rachel that I thought was really good, or not the last, I mean, she sent a lot, but one that I thought was really good is tell her how great she is doing all the time. No, oh, I tell her that every day right now. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm talking about. Martin's ahead of the game, people. How but pretty she is. Well, I mean, when I see it, I cannot help but stop and appreciate and admire what is going on. Like, because I, so I said it, he's, if it was left up to the man, we'd be extinct. Like uh, mm. she went through some things. I <laughs> would just like. Couldn't do it. And we ain't even got to arguably the worst part of it yet. When her but, ankles are the size of basketballs. Yeah. Well, then, then the thing that gets me is two years later and she'll be coming saying, Hey, I want another baby. <laughs> No, Psy, that won't be another. That'll be two more. Yeah. You can't. Well, no. I'm just telling you. I see in that, the, that's it, what gets me, okay? In the world that is the internet, of course, I looked up some yeah. stuff on Twids. They were like, after you have the first set, you're four times more likely to have another one. There I was like, uh-uh. Uh -uh, uh -uh, you have out. a whole ball team. Disconnect. You know yeah. yeah, no. No, <laughs> disconnect. Then, then, like, I got the when, number to Dr. Ball. When I was a oh, child you don't growing go there. up. <laughs> hey, when I was a child growing up, some of the women, especially if they was or lived on a farm, mm -hmm. they'd have ten or twelve. Well, yeah, they needed help. Well, oh, they needed. Uh, they, well, they needed. <laughs> and a they farm didn't crew. have Netflix. Yeah, they would needed a farm crew. Yeah. The okay. guy said she ain't put her yeah. clothes on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Rachel, thank you for emailing in. Oh, uh, thank you, Rachel. No, that is, and, um, and to everybody else too. That's fantastic. I got one more. Yeah, from, go ahead. From Adam. <laughs> Adam from Mississippi says congratulations. He has three kids, two of which are twins, and he heard you wanted some tips. He says you got to have a schedule, but this is a, this is the part that got me. Twins will go in opposite directions every chance they get. It's kinda, yeah. That's kind of funny uh -huh. to think about because yeah. you think they'll all be in the same stuff, but he's saying uh -huh. you got to be ready, yeah. Co divide and conquer. Also, be CPR certified. Are you? Yeah, I had to take it in college. Boom. So he knows what he's doing. Unless I have to have my refresher course. You might want, well. Late night parties, huh? Huh? Y'all had a bunch of late night parties? What, what CPR certified? Mm -hmm. No, you just had to take it. I got you. You had to take it to graduate. What? Really? You had to take first aid and CPR to graduate. Really? Mm-hmm. Huh. In biology? Mm-hmm. 
that's interesting. Yeah. I don't think I took that. One of them plants might go on the rich. You never know. (laughs) (laughs) He's on fire today. (laughs) I I do. I was right. I was right. (laughs) He's on fire. Oh, go in opposite direction. That's good. Like, yeah, good. but I mean, I got a bunch. Of, I'm probably just going to have to sit down and forward you all of them. But to all the twins out there, That's awesome. including Chris from El Dorado, oh, he's got two twins that are two and a half years old. Up the road. Uh, he said start sleeping and start buying diapers. That's his advice. Because <coughs> you're never going to do it again. Chris, you got to be more positive. Yeah, man. That's, <laughs> I see all that start sleeping. I, I just, here's what I, everybody needs to remember. Your boy don't sleep that much. We're hunters and fishermen. Most things happen at daylight and at dark. I, I thrive uh, off of a lack of sleep. Like, he's I mean, ready, baby. I'm not saying I'm ready because, like, at 2 a.m., I really like to be asleep. <laughs> I mean, I'm not. What to do about that? I, yeah, but I ain't. No. Your I, turn. Yeah. Well, I ain't That's doing awesome. that either. Not not at first. I may try that six months down the road, but I ain't doing it at first. By six months, that'll be not potty two of them. Not the, about the third day, you are gonna say, "I'm gonna try that." <laughs> <laughs> but when you try it, please report back. And I'm used to catching a nap whenever you whenever you got to. Cause during hunting season, I mean, sometimes yeah. you 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 just gotta catch one. Like mm-hmm. wherever you at, you just gotta catch yeah. one. So Sai taught me that. Floor the duck blind. I learned that in the military. Just catch it when, when you, you can. can. Yeah, catch it when you can. Catch so. it when you mm. can. Wow. That's yeah. Awesome. Oh, it's gonna be fun, man. I'm looking forward to it. October be here before we know it. Yep. Oh, I'm, yeah. I'm counting down. Yep. We're gonna have a special episode from the waiting room. That's fine. Oh Thank yeah, you. we gonna have to do that. Hey, whenever they get released from that joint, we're gonna put them right here. See there what they go. got to yeah. say yeah. about it. Yeah, <laughs> Let Uncle John take care of him if he wants oh, to be their namesake. And then he'll go, your turn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Somebody Hi, made it a positive. Well, let's take our last break. We'll be back. All right, bye. And we're back. And we're back. And now for the standard email section of the show, Johnny D. In, in, in honor of just we do everything in twos now, I got two emails today. Oh, okay. Perfect. Twin right. emails, both from people asking for advice. Right. Also, I lost one. Found it again. All right. Help. I need somebody. Three exclamation points. Hey, y'all. My name is Benjamin. I'm 16 from Michigan, and I have a problem. Benjamin from Michigan. Benjamin from Michigan has a problem. That I'm a cowboy in a state that doesn't have very many real cowgirls. Hmm. I'm trying to find someone that has the same interests as me. Horses, working outside, roping cows. He's a Christian and isn't afraid of hard work. There's a lot of girls around, but none have the same interest. I thought I'd ask one of the great cowboys, Uncle Si, about my situation. I think you're confused about Uncle Si being a cowboy. So what is our advice? He'd love it if we answered on the show. My man's looking for a cowgirl in Michigan, and he can't find one. God will marry the cowgirl. Yeah, go to the rodeo. Go to the rodeo and hang out by the back alley because they're fixing to come out of there right before the bull riding. About 16 of them. <laughs> but they're going to be coming quick, so. Uh, that's right. <laughs> uh, I like it. I have no words. <laughs> I I like what just happened? He's talking about barrel racing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know what he's referring to. Yeah. So your advice is just to find well, a rodeo. You find and a cowgirl, you got to go to where cowgirls yeah. hang out. And they go to rodeos. That's a good point. Yeah. Hey, man, the Broken Horn Rodeo is, is in Fowlerville, Michigan on July 29th. Hey, there you go. You need to head that way, right. sir. There's mm-hmm. the answer to your problem, sir. Go find you a can, Chaser. Mm-hmm. Uh, That's right. Uh, but does he have do- to? They got to do something while they're loading bulls. <laughs> I don't even know what. But does he have to find a cowgirl? That's what the hey, boy no, well, That's what he wants. Yeah, I guess that's a good. Odds are, at this point of his life, yes. Because he's going to have to find somebody that understands what he's into and that's why he true. likes it. That's right. You can't turn a city slicker into that at 16. Nope. Not if he's trying to stay age appropriate. That's why. If he wait 10 years, he may find one that's tired of the city life and want to want to get out of there. That's what happened to old. Lo- if that's look- a pioneer woman. If he's looking for yep. one now, that's a good point. He's gonna have to find one that when he comes in from the rodeo hurting, his woman ain't gonna holler at him and gripe at him, only because he didn't get over that front end. But that's the only reason. 
Because he ain't mowed the grass or nothing. Like that. He is talking about bull riding. Yeah. <laughs> so there you go. I, yeah, there's a bunch of rodeos in Michigan, man. Yeah, they need oh, to. Oh, there you go. I think there you go. might just be looking at the wrong hey, parts of Michigan. A rodeo is the answer to your problem. The women will be there. You go there. Mm, there you go. But Michigan's weird because there's two of them. So oh, if he lives in the wrong Michigan. If he lives in that UP, he's stuck with whatever's there anyway. You can't get out of it. They have roping and barrel racings on Sunday and Saturday night, too. Well, All across the country, you know. I didn't know that. You may have to go to a different state. That'll be one of your Wisconsin options. got rodeos, probably. Mm-hmm. And cheese. <laughs> Good cheese. We're really judging our Rodeo friends from the Great Lakes curds. region. Cheese. All right, like so, cheese curds. So I like that advice. Just Go to a rodeo. Go to the rodeo. Yeah. All right. Well, there's your advice, Benjamin. Go to the rodeo and hang out in the back, and 16 women are going to come out right. pretty quick. Right. Depends on who's, uh, I mean, he's entered, you know. <laughs> could be more, could be less. Yeah. Some of them but might. it's still going to be quick. Some of them might be in the slack. Oh, they're going to come by fast. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best advice we've yeah. ever given. Hey, go they go to the rodeo. They're going to come by you on quarter horses. <laughs> they're going to be fast. I said mm-hmm. the rodeos, they answered all your problems. All right, Jeremiah. They've made a lot of movies Johnson. where that is, in fact, not the case. He made the movie, Jeremiah Johnson. <laughs> no, okay, no, it's I Jerry. I that the other day. What? Hey, that's a good movie. Nine mm-hmm. figure of a man. That's it? Yes, that's all you need to know. There you go. All right, Jerry emails in. We don't know where Jerry's from, although I wish we did. Uh, he has something that's been laying heavy on him. Uh-oh. Okay. I'd knock it off. Well, if he's married, well, that's the problem. If, if he's married, get his woman to pick it up off of you. And there's the other problem. <laughs> oh, let's hear it. It's come to the point where my girlfriend and I are ready to take the next step, oh. a.k.a. get married. There you go. But I haven't finished school yet, parentheses, and she has. I'm just nervous about asking her dad for her hand because education is very important to her family and us getting married may mean me taking a break from college so we can be steady on our feet financially. They both love the Lord and want to do it his way. He just wants some advice on how to tell her dad all this. How much longer has he got in school? That's a great question. He doesn't say that. I'm a big believer in don't take a break in college. I don't think so. Breaks rarely yeah. are breaks. Yep. You should have already taken your break if you were going to take it. Yep. Once you get in, you got go it. to the finish line. Yeah. Oh, the go finish line. Finish it. And you can, I got married as a junior in college and then changed my major. So I wasn't even a junior. I was like back to a sophomore. But I also, I worked 40 hours a week at breakfast time at a grocery store. My wife worked at a Red Lobster. So, you know, it's if you want to get married that young and you want to be in school, Here's my advice. There's a lot of work. And if you're looking for a reason to quit school, marriage ain't it. Just quit. Yeah. <laughs> Just quit and my do something else. Yeah, don't you. camouflage the reason for quitting school yeah. either. We're getting married. There ain't nothing wrong with people that don't go to school. Oh, absolutely. My dad didn't go to school. My mom didn't go to school. They're one of the wrong. greatest one of the greatest farces in America is everybody needs to go to college. It's not the case. That's not the case. I went there and spent a while, but I mean, like. College is not for everyone. But no. my advice to you is, okay, you and your woman both discuss it. Okay, because look, here's the deal. <clears throat> Life's going to happen. What you do with it is is the most important thing. If you get married, you say you drop out of school and get married. Life's going to happen. You may be right away start having kids, then finances. Okay, and you may not. If you meant for it to be a break and then go back and finish. That may be a Harder done than you know than said. Breaks are rarely breaks yeah. in college. They're just yeah. That's just it. It's I would up. I would if it was up to me. Okay, and the family is big on education. Finish your college de- degree, and then. Yeah, there's nothing saying like you're worried about her dad and education is yeah. important. Yeah. Then when you ask him, have your plan laid out. Like right. here's what's gonna happen. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask her to marry me. I'm going to make the commitment right now. I'm going to finish school in two years. We're going to get married. Because she has two, We're going to get married six months after I finish school. That's when the wedding's going to be. I mean, lay out a plan to the man. But if and, you go to him and say, hey, man, 
I want to marry your daughter. I'm going to take a break from this school thing for a minute. And then once life's all, re- then once everything's perfect, then we're, I'll go back to school. That's, that's not going to, yeah, no, that's out. That's yeah. not going to work. He's I, not going to like I'll that. I'll give either. you the religious deal on this. Most people tell you, well, once I get myself straight, then I'll, then I'll get religious. Mm. Well, hey, that's the wrong answer. You'll never get yourself straight. You've been trying to do that. Because yeah. while we were still sinners, yeah. Christ yeah. died for yeah. us. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Get your religion, and he'll straighten you out. Okay? Yeah. And then you take off. As, yeah. But as for this, you just need to take off in odd direction. Whether it's marriage and working your butt off, that's fine. Yeah. Or finish school and then get married. And Both are fine answers. And if you're a junior, finish. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah, if you hang up, yeah. You've made it to junior, finish. Well, yeah, go ahead and knock it out. You're going to regret it the rest of your life. But if you got something you see yeah. that you want to go do, go do it. Go do it, yeah. A lot of money to be made without a college education. Yeah, I mean, college really is only. All you're doing when you put that on something is showing people you're committed. Yep. Hey, I did four years. In my case, I did six. He's I did six, you're but I only quitter. got a four-year degree. Quitter, you're a quitter. <laughs> But there you go. There's my advice. There's size advice. Ah. You can find all your answers at the rodeo and not necessarily college. Right. <laughs> that is, boys. I couldn't agree more. <laughs> hey, <that's it. laughs> all right. So today's Bible verse. I'm just going. My dad sends me a Bible verse every morning. Five twenty-eight. That, that's awesome. Yep. And he sends me a little note to. Uh, but five twenty-eight this morning. I got. I was still asleep, but my dad was awake. Uh, Psalms 138, 7, though I walk in the midst of trouble, you preserve my life. You stretch out your hand against the anger of my foes with your right hand. You see me. God's for you and he's always with you. Yep. Remember that. Amen. Uh, We'll see y'all next time right here in the duck. Bye. Bye.